Okay, guys. Just let this unlag a little bit. We're going to do some agrarian skies for a little bit. I want to show you the changes I've made. And uh, after that, we're going to go and play on Iris for a little bit before midnight. Because there's been some big changes there that I want to show everybody who's interested in. So, right, yeah. Here's the remains of the house. As you can see, most of uh, this hill here has gone now. All that clay has been put to good use. I've moved all the trees. I will show you why later on. Haven't moved the cactus yet. Just one sec, just let me move things here just a sec. There we go. I couldn't see the chat. Uh, I hate those creepers. Nasty little buggers. Yep. I think this picture is a bit too bright for Damien. Yes, but it was perfectly the right colour for Laura and she made it. And uh, thanks once again. Okay, so I've still got this farm up here, but I intend to move it. I do love the way the spiders just sort of cling on for dear life and bounce up and down and bounce up and they'll give up and just drop to the bottom and die. Okay, so. We had, in the last time we were here, we made the mob drop. And everything dies here. So I just set up a little bit of an automated system here where things get taken out, automatically taken out of here. And up through these pipes. Just uh, get rid of that in a sec. Um, up through these pipes here. And these pipes will allow through arrows, strings, bones, rotten flesh, and gunpowder. And this stuff goes through to these barrels here. So we've actually got 64 stacks of 60, uh, 64 here. So 64 stacks, 64 stacks, nearly 37 stacks, 64 stacks. So these barrels are actually full now, uh, apart from the string. And this one is empty. But if you watch, a piece of uh, rotten flesh drops in there from time to time. Why do I build mob drops everywhere? This is why I build mob drops everywhere. Look at all the stuff. Okay, look at all this stuff. This is just free stuff. I just have to go AFK or just do other things and it just appears. Okay, so right. Um Rotten flesh is appearing in there. Is that is there some rotten flesh there? Let me just grab that. Um get rid of those. Um so if I put that rotten flesh in there, you'll see uh just disappears. Okay. Three, two, because what's happening is it's going around the back here into these composting bins. So these are filling up and it's composting. And if we go down here, okay, it's coming down this, this pipe into this earth. So I've got seven stacks of earth there for doing nothing. No work involved at all, which is my idea of work. Okay, um, so. The other thing I've been working on here, down here, this is... Oh, I added another layer. Um, in the last episode, we made this layer here, which you can see I've put a wall, uh, a fence around. I added another layer underneath it, because what I was thinking was this would be a more decorative area, a more functional area, but underneath will be all the industry, the wiring, the pipes, and things like that. So I made this extra room here, and I built this. So that's an igneous extruder. What it does is it takes lava and water and it makes the stone of your choice, cobblestone, stone, or obsidian. So at the moment I've got I'm making some cobblestone which goes down to this pulverizer and the pulverizer makes gravel and occasionally it makes sand and the sand comes through here to another pulverizer and makes dust. So the gravel comes down here, I've got loads of it, and the, the, the sand comes into dust and I've got a little bit of it here which I need to work on. Um, the problems I had here were power, so I made this, which is a TNT generator. It uses gunpowder, and it creates a lot of uh, uh, it creates a lot of um, power. I just picked up that muffler. The problem with it is we're probably going to hear it in a moment. Is it explodes? Come on. You're not going to do anything now, just to, uh, just to, just to throw me, aren't you?
Right, okay, well, I'm going to leave the muffler off and we'll hear it in a bit. Yeah, so it explodes from time to time, does a little bit of damage, but it's not the end of the world. So, over here, I've started to make a, a little river. And over here, we have some farm area and a tree farm. And I've got all the species of trees that I have so far. And I've also got a jungle tree now, which I got from... Uh, some seeds I took out of sand. So I've got jungle, I've got spruce, I've got oak, I've got birch, and I've got rubber. And those together, I'm going to be, I'm going to put some bees down here and uh, um, see if I can breed some other types of trees. Oh, this stuff, by the way, is road. Okay, it makes you go really, really, really fast, which is kind of disconcerting. And over here, we have cows, and we have chickens. I would love to tell you whether I'm planting any planks, but the walls have ears. So, right, um, I want to breed up these cows because I want some leather. And the leather is going to be the thing that helps me get these things out of here and into their own little pens. That's one of the things I want to do tonight is make a chicken coop. And oh and here this is mycelium. This is for growing mushrooms and what we can do with this is make witch water which we will be doing fairly soon as well. So there we go. Um, I think what I'm going to do with the world is I'm going to put it into quarters so over here we're going to have farming so that'll be agriculture and tree farming all the fishing stuff and things like that is going to happen here over here we'll have an industrial area over here we will build all the witchery the nether stuff things like that and over here i will build a house Uh, when will all the new server be up, Simon? I keep kind of stalking everyone's channel, but not seen any new Arcadia vids since the Corrupted one. Have a quick look at my channel. There is uh, an Arcadia video that I've posted this week, which will answer all your questions. So, that's where we are now. There's a few bits and pieces I want to do. Um, not least of which is I'm getting sick and tired of eating horrible food. So I actually want to make some f decent food to start off with. And I've got this raw beef, I've got apple, and I've got loads of wheat. And the first thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a steak sandwich. So let's go and get ourselves some wheat. This is so nice right clicking on wheat and just getting stuff like this without having to replant. Love it. Oh, and there's a bit that actually I haven't planted there, so let's do that quickly. Alright, so plant seed there. That's the gunpowder generator. That's why there's a sound muffler on it. So, let's do that. First of all, let's put the sound muffler back. Right, just in case anyone doubted why I put a sound muffler there. That's why. Okay, right, food. Let's make something decent to eat. So, we'll make some bread. And we'll put that up to in here and that will toast it. What I want to make here is and if we look at steak. Uh, actually we'll look at beef. There we go, right. Raw beef. One of the things you can make here is a hamburger, which is a nourishing meal. So we need raw beef, we need toast, and we need a skillet. So a skillet is two iron and a stick. So that's the first thing we need to make. And did I have some metal on me? I did, yeah. Let's get rid of that lead. Don't need that. So two iron and a stick gives us a skillet. Hmm. 
Hmm, okay. Um, I don't, no doubt. Um, Google has always been particularly pants at that sort of thing, so uh, I'm not doubting your eyes in the slightest when you say that. So, okay. Um, right, we can put our skillet in there. We can put our toast in there. And we can put our raw beef in there. And that gives us hamburgers, which are nourishing meals. Let's get another four toast. And on three. And let's get another three toast. That'll do. We'll make the last one later on. So when we, once we eat the baked potatoes, and we've got a bit of hunger, I'm going to try one of these hamburgers because hopefully it's going to feed us a bit better. Yeah, that, that's the other thing it does. So I don't particularly want it in this room all the time. But uh, it's a much better generator. You see the power there? 80. Okay, these ones I've been using so far, the survivalist generators, which burn wood, have a power level of 5. Okay, and these power levels are how much RFs it uses per tick. So it should be using 40 at this point, but it's only using 15. So it's got these three power 5 generators attached to it. Why don't we have a team pranking competition on Arcadia? I think I'm going to mention that. I just remembered I haven't played Minecraft in four months. You probably you probably kicked the habit by now. Yeah, it's a it's a bad thing to do. But right, okay. I want to get some stuff done, and then we're going to go and play with the uh, the world at Iris. But I want to get some stuff done in here first, just to show stuff off and, and show you where we're going with that. Uh, so, first thing I want to do is I want to have a look at the quest book. Okay, so start. Okay, learning the sky block, four quests available for completion. Um, I don't think we're going to do this one this time, but that's a, a very important one, getting the smeltery done. Uh, we can't do that, we can't do that, we can't do that. And I'm not killing zombies anymore, so we can't do any of that. Hell's Kitchen. Um, uncompleted quest. Uh, we need to make a cutting board, a mortar and pestle of pot. So I think we'll definitely do that one. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that one quickly. Cutting board. See how to make it. Right, a cutting board is iron ingot, stick, and birchwood, uh, and a plank. Okay. So we'll have an iron ingot, we'll have a stick, and we'll have a plank. I suppose it makes sense. So that's a cutting board. What's the other ones I needed to make? Uh, a mortar and pestle and a pot. I'm sneaking. <laughs> Before I go to bed, I need to go and play some Minecraft. Well, if you haven't played it in four months, yeah, I'd think so, to be honest with you. Mortar and... There we go. So that's three stone and a stick. And don't have any stone there, but I have some stone in here, I think. Yep. Smelted some stuff earlier. Let's make that. Stone, stone, and stick. And finally, a pot. It's not any of those. Mm, ah, there it is, pot. So that's four iron and a stick. Glad I made lots of iron recently. And a stick. So there's that job done. And that's going to open up, I should imagine, a lot of recipes for us. So let's just claim reward. Let's give it a reward bag and a heart. Let's see what else in the next one is. So that opens to spice it up. So we need to make... Heavy cream, butter, fresh water, salt, cheese, and fresh milk. Well, fresh milk we can do now. 
I think we should be able to do all of these. So let's just do this one quickly, shall we? And we're going to need to go up and say hello to the cows. Yep, GLaDOS is alive. She is a potato. Oh, look. Sheep. You sheep. Hey. Right, so let's get some milk. Like that. And that should give us... There we go, that's that one. So let's make some cheese, some butter, and some heavy cream. Let's see what we need to do with these. First of all, how do we make these fresh milk like that? Ah, okay. Alright, okay. Um, the stream stopped for some reason. I have no idea why. You guys see me now? Yeah, it should it should be coming back online again fairly soon. Okay, excellent. Good. Sorry about that. No idea where that happened, but uh, let's see if we can get on without it. So cheese is milk and salt in a pot. So we're going to need to make salt first. And salt can be made in a pulverizer with nether salt. In a crucible with magnesium dust. I thought you could do it with fresh water. Let's try that. Fresh water in a pot. Let me just try that one quickly. Let's go and get some water. There you go. So let's give that a try. There you go. Fresh water like that. And put a pot, we put a fresh water in it. That gives us there we go, that gives us salt. And what's the recipe for cheese again? Salt and milk. Okay, so we put our salt in there and we put our milk in there and we get some cheese. Okay, and what was the last one? The last ones were butter and heavy cream. Yeah, I think you're right. All right. We make butter with heavy cream and salt. So how do we make heavy cream? Uh, milk in a mixing bowl. Okay, we can do that. So first of all, actually, butter, heavy cream. How do we make a mixing bowl? Oh. Planks and a stick. I swear we made one of those. Let's make another one. Um, where's our wood? Ooh, our missus. Alright, let's get this pile of wood. Doink, doink, doink. And a stick. Gives us a mixing bowl. And if we mix cream, we get heavy cream. And to make butter, we need more salt. So let's make some more salt. And then we put the heavy cream in with a saucepan. Have we made a saucepan? We have not made a saucepan. Let's make a saucepan. That's an iron ingot and a stick. We can do that. I hope we made the sticks first. Actually, let's get rid of this wood. Uh, like that. A stick. An iron ingot. Gives us the saucepan. And then we put uh, our heavy cream in. And we put our salt in. That gives us butter. So if we go back to the quest book. 
Claim reward. We get cherry jelly sandwiches and a full heart. Okay, so the next one is... Smoothies and ice cream can be made making snow and juice, so we want to make a glacial precipitator. Sounds like fun. So that's... Uh, just have a look. Cherry jelly sandwiches are a nourishing meal, which reminds me, we were going to eat one of these burgers. Oh, four. Oh, three and a half hearts. That's three and a half haunches. That's so much better. McBusted. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's, that sounds like a crime against humanity, if you ask me. Right. Oh, actually, here's a thought. Burger. Just guessing here. Cheese... Cheeseburger! Wholesome meal! We've gone from a nourishing meal to a wholesome meal! <laughs> right. So we'll have one of those, and let's just put this away. Actually, let's put some of this stuff into the chest here. Because we're not going to need it exactly this second, and there's no reason to carry it about, so let's just get rid of it here. Um, put the baked potatoes away, we'll eat the cherry jelly sandwiches first. Oh, we've got a reward bag as well. We should open that up. And stick some butter in there. Need a fridge for the butter. Um, yeah, I want a smoothie as well, to be honest with you. Okay, so. Let's see what we need for a glacial precipitator. Glacial. There we go. Machine frame, uh, uh, something or other coil, two copper ingots, and snow, or we can use water buckets instead. All right, we've got the copper. Okay, let's let's just see what we need to make this stuff. So this is iron or steel or aluminium. So let's make the aluminium one because I've got lots of aluminium. He says totally unable to find it. There we go. So like that, like that, like that, like that. Oh, oh! Only got three glass. Make another glass. Would you stop doing that? Let's make another glass. Uh, do I have any sand anywhere? Yep, I have some sand. Let's get that into the furnace. That'll make us some more glass. <laughs> Ah oh dear. Let's hope. Let's hope not. You know, I'm. I'm. I know I'm between jobs at the moment, but I'm kind of hoping that my future will not involve going working at McDonald's. No disrespect to anyone who does work at McDonald's. I just don't want to do it. Like that. Like that. And we want a gold ingot in the middle. That gives us a machine frame. Should make a load of those. Seem to be using a lot of them at the moment. Okay, and that's two redstone and a gold ingot. That's fairly easy to do. Is she? Yeah, okay, I've got redstone. And so let's get that done. Let's be redstone. Another gold ingot. And that gives us a redstone reception coil. Okay, I want. Uh, do I have any? No, I don't have any cobblestone on me, so let's go and steal some. There we go. And let's make ourselves a piston quickly. So. Alright, I need one more redstone. I can't believe how much redstone I've been going through recently, and I have to sift for it, so it's a pain. Iron and cobble. Gives us a piston. So if I remember right, there, okay, we've got most of this stuff now. But oh, we need two water buckets. Can we do, let's try something here. See if that'll work. Um, copper ingots. Nope, doesn't involve sandwiches. 
That apparently is what went wrong with the Large Hadron Collider. And where's my machine frame? There's my machine frame. Okay, it's got to be buckets of water, is it? Okay, right. Get some eye. Oh, it's actually that worked there. All right. Um, I think I can do that with aluminium now. Yeah, there we go. All right. Will that work with aluminium? Yes, it'll work with aluminium. Excellent. Right. So two buckets of water. Let's just make those. Need to go upstairs for that. Yeah, definitely got to get that uh, generator somewhere away from where I spend all my time. That's starting to get annoying. Okay, so let's put the buckets in, in place. And that worked. A glacial precipitator. See you, Jinko. Right, okay, so a glacial precipitator. We'll try that out later on, but let's see what the book has here. So claim reward, another heart, and another reward bag. Excellent.